What's up, guys? AC Car Shark back again, back with another Brick and Mortar Monday episode. Uh, we are heading back to the game gallery yet again. Uh, as you can see, I'm on Route 22 right now on the highway. And uh, they posted on Facebook that they received a bunch of NES games in. And uh, one of them is one that I needed for my collection, so I'm going to try to hit them up. They opened up about an hour ago, so hopefully it's still there. Uh, I don't see it being a huge in-demand game, but you never know, so I want to go and grab it while I can. And uh, take a look around while I'm there, and uh, see what else I can pick up. But I'm definitely going for the one game, hopefully you know, hopefully I'm successful in picking that up. So uh, once again, take some shots once I get downtown, and uh, I'll show you around. And uh, I'll go back to the game room and show you exactly what I picked up. All right, guys, just leaving the game gallery in Easton. I did pick up one game. Uh, the game, uh, the two games, I should say, that I was going for, uh, one wasn't there and one uh, was above my price range, so I didn't pick it up. But I did pick up one game, and uh, I will show you that in the game room. Uh, decided that I'm going to hit up the Nazareth Exchange, the pawn shop over in Nazareth, and uh, see what I can find there, and then we'll head back to the game room. As you can see, we're back on Route 22, uh, heading back towards my part of town from Easton, and uh, gonna hit up the Nazareth Exchange. So we're gonna take 22 to 33 North, and then we're gonna hit that up. Just figure I'd show you some highway footage, something fun. I guess it's fun. I don't know, but uh, just something different. So here's the highway, and I'll uh, film some more once we get a little closer. parking lot and park my car real quick and as you can see right there Nazareth Exchange I'm gonna head on in and see what we can find all right guys just taking off from the Nazareth Exchange uh, once again leaving with a bag full of games I think I picked up four games here so I got five total games on pickup and I'll go back to the game room and show you exactly what they were all right guys back in the game room back from both the game gallery and the Nazareth Exchange um, Got the black bag from the game gallery. Um, a little backstory: I went, I went in looking for. There's a couple NES games that got traded in, and um, uh, they were um, Ninja Gaiden Three. I believe the other one was uh, Fantasy Zone. I want to say or something like that. And then uh, uh, I think that was it. There was there was two that they had posted on their Facebook, and I, so I went in looking for those. Um, apparently, Fantasy Zone was. Uh, was not there and so I didn't get that one and Ninja Gaiden 3 they had it um, the app had it worth like $32 I think something like that so I expected it to be like a $40 price tag um, they had it marked at 60 uh, I kind of passed on that I mean it was above way, way above what I wanted to spend and um, like I you know if it was around the $40 range I probably would have picked it up but you know it is what it is so while I was there I did take a look around and uh, see what else they had going on and um, I picked up one game, and that is uh, for the PlayStation 2. It was marked 15 bucks. That's uh, pretty much what it goes for. So I was like, all right, and I don't have it yet, which is a, like a crime that I don't have this yet. Uh, that game is Amplitude for the PlayStation 2. So uh, if you guys don't know, like Amplitude Frequency, it's like a rhythm game. Uh, it's like basically Rock Band and Guitar Hero before they came out. Uh, these games are way overlooked, way under underrated, underappreciated as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but if you guys have a chance to pick up either Amplitude or Frequency for the PlayStation 2, I definitely recommend it. Um, let's see if I can find my scissors. I'll bust this thing open here. Uh, let me see. There we go. And uh, opening it up. Uh, it is actually missing the instructions. That's kind of a fail. Um, being that these games were a lot easier to keep the instructions for. But there's the disc. And, uh, you know, for 15 bucks, it's like, all right, well, why not? I had to pick up something. I was there, you know. Uh, but Amplitude for the PlayStation 2, great addition for that collection. 
So uh, that was the only pickup from the game gallery. Um, I mean, I've been there a couple times recently, so I figure, you know, why not? So anyway, um, went over to the um, went over to the Nazareth Exchange, and uh, it looks like I am flashing and I have low memory. So I'm going to cut right now, so I don't get cut off. And I'll come right back to you and show you what I picked up from Nazareth. All right, Exchange. guys, back. I uh, had switched out some memory cards here and to finish this video out. Um, I did pick up a, a bag of games from the Nazareth Exchange. Once again, just an awesome time there. I, I really, really enjoy going to that place. Um, they always have some good games, and the prices are always fair. Uh, staff is, is awesome. I mean, they're, they're all friendly. They all know about games and stuff. Even though it is technically a pawn shop, they know a lot about games and a lot about uh, what they have. And, and, you know, you can just stand there and talk for hours, which I've done. So, um, but anyway, I picked up four games. Uh, first one up uh, is a complete inbox Genesis game. And I got it for $2.99, which is, you know, you can't beat that deal. Uh, it's fairly common, but just for $2.99, I figured I'd try it, even though I have one of the games on here. Uh, but the game is called Triple Score, Three Games in One. So that's the shelf tag. But Triple Score, Three Games in One, it is uh, World Championship Soccer. It is Super Hang On and Columns. So for three bucks, complete in box, as you can see. Uh, instructions and card are both in there. Um, there's the back of it right there. And the spine. You can't go wrong. For a complete in box Genesis game, you can't go wrong. And... Uh, you know, I don't. I already have columns as a single card, but the other two I don't have. And for three bucks, why not, right? So for three bucks, I picked that one up. Uh, next game up is um, Complete in Box Genesis as well. Um, a game I already own, and it seems kind of weird that like I'm buying all these games I already own. Um, I don't have this game Complete in Box. I have Cart only, and this is a game that I actually want Complete in Box because I just wanted it in my collection. Uh, but for ten bucks, I picked up Wiz and Liz for the Sega Genesis. Wiz and Liz. It's kind of like a crazy little platformer. Um, you got to catch rabbits. It's it's really weird, really off center, really up my alley. Uh, but if you open it up, there is the cartridge and the instruction booklet. It was ten bucks, complete in box. Um, probably sell my loose cart copy of Wiz and Liz because I don't need two, and I'd rather have the complete in box, obviously, on the shelf. Uh, so I'll probably offset some of that cost just by unloading it for like five bucks, probably on eBay or something, and just cut the price in half to five bucks for this. So. Uh, really awesome game, really highly recommended if you haven't played it yet. Uh, the next game I picked up is Cart Only, and it is for the Nintendo 64. Just trying to peel the price tag off here. Uh, a game that when, when it was first out, I played a lot with my brother-in-law. Um, he actually owned this game for the Nintendo 64. Um, it was a lot of fun. Believe it or not, it was a lot of fun. Uh, for 8 bucks, I picked it up, Mickey Speedway USA. It's basically Mario Kart with Disney characters, if you really want to think of it that way. Uh, made, made by Rare, uh, which back then Rare was putting out all the good games. Um, but if you guys, again, if you haven't played this one, uh, if you're a fan of the Mario Kart series, you'll like this game. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's just, you know, like I said, Goofy and Mickey and all them instead of, uh, instead of Mario and Luigi and all, and all those guys. So it's a lot of fun, really good racing game, really clean copy for eight bucks. I picked that one up. And then the, the last game I picked up, I had my eye on some other titles as well, um, as far as like, you know, Game Boy and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, I, I saw this and I was like, yeah, I'd rather put the money towards towards buying this game instead. Um, for the Super Nintendo, it was, uh, I think, 30 bucks, I want to say. Um, but well worth it as far as I'm concerned. It's it's uh, It jumped up the list on my rarity, the list of my rare games on my app. Uh, it's like the fifth or sixth rarest game I have on the Super Nintendo. Uh, but that game is Super Mario All-Stars Super Mario World Combination Cart. So this this is the game that has it has both of them on there. As you can see, the spine's in really, really good shape. Uh, and uh, it just, I can't get it to clear up there. Uh, eh, whatever. You get the idea. Uh, I'm not going to sit there forever. But um, Mario All-Stars Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. Um, I have both games singly i just don't have the combination cart and from a collection standpoint uh this is pretty rare game i mean I, it's not i've come across it before it's just that um it go, it sells for a lot of money people like this because it's both games in one cartridge so it does sell for good money it is on the rarity scale pretty high and uh one i decided to pick up for 30 bucks it's uh, the app had it at like 37 something like that so it was well worth it the label looks good you can tell um uh, Joey was telling me how he, he took off some, some stickers that were on it and stuff, and it looks really good. He did a nice job. So 
Uh, really stoked about having this one in my collection now. So uh, that's going to wrap it up, guys. As, as you saw on the first part, uh, Amplitude for the PS2 from the Game Gallery. We have Mario All-Stars Mario World Super Nintendo. Mickey Speedway USA on the N64. Wiz and Liz complete in box for the Genesis. And triple score three games in one complete for the Genesis. So overall, just an awesome day. Um, like I said, guys, I can't recommend the uh, Nazareth Exchange. I can't recommend them enough. Game Gallery as well. Um, you know, I always tend to find something I want. So if you're in the area... Um, you know, just please, please check them out. Um, Joey was actually telling me in the Nazareth Exchange today, we were talking, and he said that somebody out there saw my video from the first time I went to the uh, Nazareth Exchange and actually drove like 40, 45 minutes to get there to go check it out because they saw my video. Uh, personally, I'd like to thank that person. Um, if if you're out there watching this and that was you, leave a comment. Let me know who you were. Um, it just validates what I do here and just shows you that People not only just watch my videos, but they take my recommendations seriously, and that's kind of what it's all about. Like I'm trying to help you guys find the right places to buy games and, and the, the cheapest places to, to buy games, the best value. Uh, it's, I'm a collector. I just make these videos in my basement. You know, I just make these videos sitting on my floor in front of my NES games in my basement, and I'm just I'm a collector the same as you guys are. I'm just trying to help you guys get your collection built up like I do mine. So um, I just really am am uh, just just loving the fact that people take my recommendations and actually check out the places I, I recommend. So, um, like I said, if, you, if you're watching this, whoever you were, please just let me know who you were. And uh, just I'm just saying just to find out who, who actually came by and drove that far to get there. I think that's awesome. So, um, just, you know, another, another just, it's, it's humbling in a way. And I just want to thank you guys for, for sticking with me for the years that you have and, and the videos that you've watched and uh, just everything. It's just awesome. So I'm just, I'm just really thankful for you guys and uh, just wanted to put that out there. So uh, that's going to wrap up this Brick and Mortar Mondays, guys. Till next time, AC Card Shark. Take care.